um, actually talk to the young people at our schools and we try to help them understand the, I, the ideas behind the school and around the programs that we run, which Connected Learning undergirds all of it. We spend a lot of time talking about how we can make connections for them to things that they're interested in, how we can connect them to other people um, in their classrooms so that, that they begin to see themselves as experts and mentors for their peers. So we have a young man in New York who entered the school as a sixth grader and he's now a ninth grader. So he's been with us for almost four years. Um, and he's like a really nice kid. He's a kind of average, average student. Um, but something started to happen with him a year ago where he began to reach out into the community and do some kind of community-based work on his own. And he did this in two ways. One is that there is a newspaper man in uh, New York at Astor Place that has had a newspaper stand there for years. Um, and the city is shutting him down for, for some reason. Um, and this is a newspaper man that the student has walked by every day and has built a relationship with over the years. And so he took it upon himself to start a campaign to allow this, you know, this newspaper man to keep his kiosk. Um, and so on his own, he did this and he's garnered thousands and thousands of signatures um, has brought that into the school. It sort of activated the whole school community around this particular cause. Um, and at the same time, he's also started doing photography, which is something that he learned um, in seventh grade in one of his classes. There was a year long they spent um, looking at notions of image making and photography and got into um, video based work eventually. But he uh, began taking photographs partially of this, this newspaper man and has been posting them. And, um, so suddenly in the ninth grade, we have this kid that's producing professional quality photography, posting it online, sharing it, getting a lot of uh, feedback from people, improving his practice, and using those photographs to activate people around the cause of this newspaper guy on, on Astor Place. So he found this way to connect a set of things um, uh, that he had interests around, uh, both in a civic context, but also now in a kind of passion-driven context. Um, and he's so engaged in school. So all of his academic work is improving um, as a result of all of these other activities because he just has an identity now um, of this young man who sees himself as someone who can really make a difference in the world, right? Even in a, in a, in a small way around this one, this one person that he had built a relationship with. So it's really interesting and we see that the other kids in the school sort of looking to him because he was this really quiet kid, right? That, that um, wasn't someone who you would normally think about as sort of rising and shining. And he's just created this presence in the school to show other kids what that kind of linking, linking might look like. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's been uh, fascinating to work like at the school level, right? Not something I ever imagined that I would be doing. Um, and such a privilege to work with young people. Like it's just every day astonishing. Um, the ideas that they have and what they, you know, what they really bring to the table. So it's been a kind of a remarkable collaboration. And that, that's the thing that really excites me is that feedback loop in having ideas and designing things with young people, seeing them sort of live them, make changes to them, it sort of feeds back to us. We make other kinds of changes. And so it's um, a very dynamic space in that way um, because it's actually in the world and you can see it and the young people are there to help you understand what, what makes sense and what doesn't make sense.